Hello and happy, happy Tuesday. I'm super excited that you've joined me today. My name is Wendy Lee and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the US and we're going to do a little paper crafting today. So what do I have in store? Well, I have it in the other in another area. So let me reach over and grab the sample that we're doing today so I can give you a sneak peek of it. So we are going to create it's kind of a simple card, but I love it. So it's got lots of bright colors on it. So this is a floating frame and we're doing an inlaid die cut. So I'm gonna change it up just a bit from this sample and we'll talk about that in a moment. So we are featuring the Forever and Always stamp set with the Always dies that coordinates. You can get those in a bundle and save 10% as well as the Floral Heart dies. So these are all from the Love You Always product suite that is in our mini catalog. And that is the suite that we are featuring this month in February for our all-star tutorial bundle. So you can get that bundle for free with a $50 minimum purchase. When you order from me, I will email that to you. Or you may choose to purchase the tutorial outright, which is $15. That's fine as well. And of course, my diamonds team gets it for free. Yay! I like to give them lots of good stuff. So, all right, we have three weeks, a little under three weeks of celebration left. Um, so you guys know what celebration is, but you know what? I'm gonna grab a brochure and show you a couple of things. I've had some questions. So this is my brochure, so it's a little messy uh, on my little post-it notes. But I've had a few questions where I think it's a little confusing um, on what you're looking at to know what, what the free choices are. So let me, and this is a page that I get asked a lot. Okay, so when you're looking for celebration free items, you are looking for this little medallion right here that says free. That's the product that's free not all this other stuff on the page. These are other suggested coordinating items that you can purchase to get your paper free, okay? So that's how you look through the catalog. So the medallions are different colors. So this one happens to be green. And so it shows you that what's free on this page is actually this Oso oh Ombre paper. So I hope that helps clarify for a few of you. The other thing I wanna make sure that you know um, on celebration is if you have a large shopping list and you love your Stampin' Up! products, why not get a discount? Join the team. So you get to get all the extra perks I offer my team as well on top of your discount. So I would love for you to join us. And I've got an example starter kit here. Let me pull this in so you can kind of see an example. So you create your starter kit. So you choose anything anything, anything that you want in your starter kit, which is awesome, right? Um, so I've just put together a little bundle of products. So you get $125 in product for $99. And during celebration, you get five color families of designer series paper that's going to be in the new catalog that comes out in May. So this is like 200 sheets of paper that you get free on top of it. So if you've got questions, let me know. I'd love to help you get set up and um, become a diamond. Yay, 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 yay. All right, we'll put that aside. Should I check and see that I am on Facebook? Let's do that and then we will go ahead and switch the camera over. So let me go ahead and switch the camera. Make sure I've got that worked out first. All right, yay, there's nothing on the screen, but I will get there, I promise. Make sure I'm in the Facebook group. It looks like I am. Oh, good. I see Mary and Gwen and Jean. So glad you guys are here with me today. Yay. My internet looks like I might be having some issues, but hopefully it's going to hang on here with me. Perfect. So let me put my sample back in the screen here and let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Pull back in my stuff. So what I'm changing up on this, so this particular sample that I made, the way I made the floating frame piece, which is the heart with the colored strips, is I actually put cardstock on foam adhesive strips and I use this, what I call the Stampin' um, Seal. It's not Stampin' Seal, that's adhesive, good grief. Press and seal, glad press and seal. 
And um, so you put the press and seal over it and it holds things together while you do your cutting and stuff. I found it very, very tedious and a little bit difficult to get everything placed back. And on top of that, by the time I ran it through the die cutting several times, it made it so that the press and seal really didn't want to release from the paper and it, it wanted to pull away the cardstock. So I was like, okay, how do we simplify this to make it faster and easier so you could easily recreate this? So, hey, Terry, so glad you're here. So here's what I'm doing. So I've learned this from Alyssa Tilsner. So we are going to use the window sheet methodology to create our frame, our, our floating frame pieces, which is the heart. And then this is a inlaid die cut that we're creating in there as well. So you can see all that great height. All right, so let's get started. All right, I'm gonna move that out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my first thing. So I'm going to pull in a silicone craft sheet. Mine's messy. And I've got a two and three quarter by two and three quarter piece of window sheet or acetate, however you want to look at it. And then I've got some colored strips of paper. So I've got a half inch strip of real red, about a quarter inch strip of uh, melon mambo, a three eight strip of um, mango melody, fat quarter inch strip of grainy apple green and a half inch strip of gorgeous grape. So I'm going to use some liquid glue and I'm going to adhere these straps to this window sheet. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see this. Hopefully I'm on screen. I'm going to slide this over a little bit to give me a little bit of working space. Now, as I'm using this liquid glue, I want a really thin layer. So you could do the sponge methodology. Do you guys know what I mean by that? So I could put a glob of glue on here and then use a sponge, do this and then sponge the back of it. It gets a nice thin layer, it's even. Um, so you could do that methodology if you prefer. I um, am not doing that this time. I am just going to use my liquid adhesive and try to be very um, careful with how much glue I put on here. I want it to stick, right? I don't want it to slide off but I don't want it to ooze out either because it's it's a little, I think it's a little difficult to get off the window sheet once you get it on there. Um, I have found a Q-tip with our Stampin' Mist, works very, very well, but I don't know that I have the patience for it. So, and this glue is gonna take a little bit to dry on the window sheet because it's not a porous material, right? So we're gonna lay these down and I'm leaving space in between because I want it to look like it's that floating frame, even though I'm cheating and I'm adhering it to a window sheet. It's gonna make it so much easier for us to um, adhere it to the card front later. So you can leave as much or as little room as you want between the um, colors. Let's get our grape. I don't know if you can hear in the background. I have, my neighbor has tree work going on, so there's chainsaws. It's lovely, right? <laughs> All right. So once that's laid down, I want to let this dry really well. And then I'm going to run it through with this die here. So this die is from the, um, let me grab the dies back again. It is from the floral heart die. So it's this one here. So this, this just goes in with the set. So it's part of that same suite. But um, I really just want the heart shape out of the center. So you could use a punch or any other heart dies that you have. I just wanted to stay within the suite. Um, so I'm just going to lay this on and run this through. Now, I will tell you, this took several passes because of the window sheet is so thick. Why glue and not regular adhesive? So Terry, you could use um, stamp and seal if you preferred. Um, it's gonna be wide for some of these strips. So it's gonna make a little bit of a mess there. And then I feel like, like glue dots and the stamp and seal slide a little bit on the window sheet. So that's where I went with liquid glue because I feel like it's going to um, long-term stay in place a little bit better. Now, have I tried all the different methods? No, I have not. So they may work just as well. It's just a personal opinion. All right, so again, I'm gonna run this through. Again, because of the thickness and the window sheet, I'm gonna need to run this through several times. Now, I ran it through forward and back several times, took it off, 
rotated it and ran it through again several times because I really wanted it to cut through that window sheet. So I'm going to show you what I've got here. So it came out like this and then I've got to work this. Actually, this one's pretty good. I think I snapped most of it. Yeah, so you might have to snap it out a little bit to get it right out of there. So this is this turned out really nice. And then I'm not going to worry about all these little pieces that these actually haven't even cut all the way through yet. I really wanted to just get the heart. So that's trash for me. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, so once you've got your heart, now you want to lay the outline image of the love, which is from the uh, Always Die. So let me pull those in again. So that's the Always Dies. So I'm not using the detailed love. I'm using the open love. I did try one with the detail, but because of the, um, acetate sheet, the window sheet, it made it a little too thick and it was a little tedious. So again, I'm going to run this through several times. I may change the shape of it, you know, the orientation of it, not the shape, change the orientation and run it through just to get the different pressure. All right. So once I run it through, I've got this and then I'm going to need to work this loose. Oh, good. That one actually came out really well. <laughs> so I must have already worked that through. So that's going to come right out and I'm removing that. So that's my die cut piece for the inlaid part. All right, now we are ready to start assembling. Yay! And it looks like I forgot to grab some foam adhesive strips. So let me grab those. Um, so let me do that. And I'll put these on the back. Could you use dimensionals? Sure. I'm just thinking that this is faster and easier. So we'll do that real quick. So the window sheet makes this super easy to do. And I can put it on every strip. I could skip some strips and do just a little bit here and there. It doesn't, you know, it really depends on how much uh, stability you want for your layer. I'm going excessive with what I'm doing here. <laughs> so mine should be super sturdy. And I could put little pieces here as well, but I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so I'm going to take the adhesive off the back. Well, I say that, the backing paper, off the back of my heart here. Do that. Perfect. Oh, good. You guys are liking this? Oh, good. Good, good, good. So glad. It's kind of a, a different way to go about this. All right. So I've got a piece of basic white. It's five inches by three and three quarters. And now I've already added texture. I don't know if you can see that. I used the subtle embossing folder just to add a little bit of texture. I did not do that on that original sample I showed you. It has no texture to it. Oh, see how great that is? So much faster than doing the foam methodology. So, and there's a little shimmer from the window sheet. All right, next we want to go ahead and die cut a piece of black cardstock. So I've got a little piece of black cardstock and I'm pulling out some of our adhesive sheets. So I'm just gonna quickly cut a piece off and literally just peel it off, stick it to the back. And then I'm gonna use the detailed love image, if I can get my hands on it, this right here. And I'm gonna go run this through the die cut machine. Now, because I put the adhesive back on it, it's it may not like release from this layer here. And that's okay because it doesn't really matter. Oh, look, I used old, I used old on this example here, but that's okay. I'm gonna pull this off, work that through, and I'm just going to peel off this backing paper. Had a little bit of old uh, adhesive sheet that I used on this sample. Pull those old little uh, pieces out that should have been removed. And I'm just gonna lay this down in where that is die cut out. Is that not cool? Super cool, I think. All right, let's go ahead and get the love part out. And if it doesn't release from the cardstock, that's okay because it's really the adhesive sheet that it didn't cut through. It, it is difficult when you have no fingernails. All right, take your pick, it's going to come help me. See if I can get this adhesive sheet. This is what happens when you use old stuff. 
that you have left in your craft room that you shouldn't use, right? Then it doesn't work as well as our new stuff does. But that's okay. Got to use up some of the old stuff too. All right. So now I can just place this love right down in here. So cute. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So now you can see the different heights there, right? But that popped up and then that's inlaid down in. I think this is super cool. All right. Let's go ahead and do our layers. I'm going to adhere this to a uh, piece of vellum. So let's go ahead and put some adhesive on the back. So I've got a five and a quarter by four vellum. All right. So what are you guys talking about? Many heart dies would cut a little bit easier with this, but yes, yes. That is exactly why I chose this heart is because I was staying within the suite. You can use any heart die you've got doesn't matter what it's from. Actually, you can use any shape you want. A circle would be nice, but because I did love, um, I wanted to tie that back in. All right, so I've got a piece of thick white cardstock. I'm gonna fold in half for my card base. Give that a good crease. And I'm gonna add this to the card front with some dimensionals. So yeah, so I'm showcasing things out of that. Love you always sweet, since that's the one we're featuring this month for the all-star tutorial bundle. So that's why I stayed within that suite. Exactly correct. All right, we are almost done. Lay this on the front, cute. All right, then I also cut out using the floral heart dies, this little strip here. So it actually makes a nice little decorative border, but all these little hearts, you take the trash, which are these right here, and now you have an embellishment, yay. So I'm just gonna add a couple little dots of glue right onto my card base here. Okay. And then use my take your pick and see if this, that will help me place these. Perfect. And I find that I need to leave these things alone. So if I'm adhering something, the more I touch it, the bigger the mess I make. So I just need to set it down and let that glue set. I'm gonna twist that one just a smidge. Well, it's not twisting, there we go. Cute, 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 cute. Now you could add bling or something else if you prefer, but I like the simplicity of this. All right, let's go ahead and add something to the inside. We'll add our sentiment. So I'm bringing in my Memento Black ink and the U stamp. And I'm just going to stamp U right down in the corner here. And then I wanna bring in one of those little hearts next to it. So let's add a little bit of liquid adhesive. There we go. Do this without making too big of a mess. Bring my take your pick back in and grab that little heart and place that right inside. I want this one to be a little more straight. Perfect. Yay. Cute, right? So you've got your love you. Love it, love it, love it. So let's see the difference again. So this is with the window sheet. So you've got the shininess. And so this gave you a solid piece to be able to adhere. And we use the foam strips to get that to lift up. On this one, I actually laid strips of cardstock, mounted them on our foam sheets and used press and seal to hold it together to die cut it. Again, the press and seal after running it through several times, wanted to tear the paper. So while this is really nice, I think doing it this methodology works just as well, if not a little bit simpler and gives you just as fabulous of a, um, uh, a choice there as well. Yes, the matte, matte black dots would look awesome on this. Um, I am running very low on those and they're back ordered currently. So you can order them as I checked this morning, but um, I did not want to use them all up. And I thought it was nice that you could just pull some bits out of your dies as well. 
Cute. All right, you guys love it. Yay. Good, good, good. I hope you'll give this a try. Um, like I said, you could use just about any shape. I, I was going for a love card since this is Valentine's week and we're celebrating those that we love, right? But you could use anything, 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 anything. All right. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, please share it with your crafty friends. Give me some comments, some thumbs up. And if you're watching on the replay, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Again, if you have any questions about the celebration promotion um, and would like to join my diamonds team, I am happy to help you get started. I also have registration open going on now for my happy mail stamp camp to go. Registration ends February 27th. And I just posted today my next online bingo, which will be taking place on March 20th. We do that via Zoom, which is so much fun. And registration closes on March 5th. Thank you guys and have a wonderful week. And I will see you next Tuesday for a little more paper crafting fun. Bye for now.